Okay, everyone. Um, I decided to run to Lowe's today and um, I decided to build a new enclosure, uh, at least gut out my old Manduka moth enclosure. It's not that it's old, it's just that last year I had um, some ants make their way in through the window. They, sent, they smelled the nectar that's been hanging. So I want you to be careful. This is just a very quick video. When you put together any kind of Manduka moth enclosure, um, you want to make sure that you surround ant baits on the outside. This is inside my house, keep in mind, and you could eat off my floors, but they will find their way. Um, ants can destroy an enclosure and they'll also, if they make their way in because they smell the nectar, um, I just got, mine came in through um, a screen and they, within a very short period of time, we had removed the screens and we were changing things out and anyway i'll explain later but this is just a few things believe it or not um i'm gonna try to do this enclosure with regular soil that has fertilizer in it i always um use i always um clean the root balls of my plants before i put them in an enclosure but i'm not going to do this for the manduka moth enclosure um i only do that when my reptiles are in their enclosure. I'm going to go ahead and just let the Manduka moths live and prosper and have babies um, and lay their eggs in an enclosure that is just good old-fashioned soil, potty mix. I bought some moss. Um, believe it or not, if you have any enclosures with frogs or a veiled chameleon or um, anything, this is your best kept secret right here. These pool supplies are fantastic because they all love my frogs love to climb on them they're you can cut them you can size them i'm telling you right now um my veiled chameleon loves um climbing on these and you can get them wet it, they're just perfect so i'm telling you right now for any of your babies if you want to buy something cheap to get them to climb on stuff or just have a little bit more joy Get, get a couple of these and size them down. There's all different sizes. I use them in every single enclosure. Um, anyway, so this is the beginning of a project we're going to um, work on together. And um, I will talk to you soon. I love horn, hornworm breeding season. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, talk to you later.